Oh, one new developments this morning on the St. Pete Pier project. Construction costs continue to skyrocket before the work even begins. You're looking right now at the brand new renderings of that project behind us. The city is meeting in a few hours to talk about yet another redesign. Reporter Adam Weiner is live right now with a sneak peek at these new designs and how. Good morning there. The, the pier right now really just a demolition zone. Uh, it is a mess out there. That old inverted pyramid long gone. Mayor Rick Christman wants to now spend upwards of $80 million to turn this mess into the kind of place that families from all, all over the world are really going to want to come to St. Pete to visit. And these new renderings you're looking at is what they, he and the architects are going to be showing off to the St. Pete City Council this morning. Upgrades that they're hoping uh, are worth that extra money that they're putting forward. It includes more green space, up, uh, upgrades to a kid's play area like a splash pad. The mayor is talking about uh, taking money from that failed transportation project. You remember Greenlight Pinellas? That was $14 million that they had set aside. Well, the mayor wants to use that money on top of the $66 million that they've already set aside for the pier for a grand total of $80 million for this project. The mayor saying just yesterday that he thinks that difference, that $14 million is the difference between a great pier and what he calls a world-class pier. But the city council may be not on board about all this. They're going to be meeting at around 8 this morning with that architecture company to go over those renderings and the mayor to debate whether or not that extra money is worth it to, to spend on the pier and whether those upgrades are really worth that extra money. For now, live here in St. Pete, Adam Weiner, ABC Action News.